Oh, it's getting that time of year. We're in the middle of June, which may which means that we're less than thirty days away from my birthday, my lifetime. I call it my lifetime. See, to me, life begins when you breathe. So when you come out, your first <laughs> your first sound, your first vibration goes to the goes out to the universe. You know, and the universe who just sent you there says, "Oh, so you got there safely." And then you have a conversation. You go, ah, "Mommy don't know what's going on. Daddy don't know what's going on. The doctors don't know what's going on. The nurses don't know what's going on." You communication between you and the universe. You see, and so in honor of that, this time of year, I I, I start babbling. No, no, that's not true. That's not true. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm getting ready to go to the states. You know, I got my I got my I got this jacket a long time ago. I like this jacket, but you know what I did one time? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm gone. A few years ago, when I was having, I think I ha I have it. I I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link because to me it's hilarious. The only one I actually produce because I have a this matter. You'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll put a link to it. Anyway, I had this jacket on, and I was doing this whole thing about, you know, because one of my favorite places, when you travel a lot of places in the world, they, they say, what's your favorite place? And so I, one of my favorite places on the planet is, uh, is right here. Okay, so you have, you have, you have, uh, oh, they have yes, you have you know, Canada, North America, you know, states there, uh, Mexico, right? All that stuff. Then right around here, you have Gua uh, Guatemala, but then there's this little tucked in there. There's a little country. It used to be called British Honduras, you know, and British did their thing. But now it's called Belize. That's my favorite place on the planet. And my favorite, uh, well, it's not my favorite, but the, my favorite place on the planet is in Belize, a place called Barranco Belize. And what I liked about it, I was hanging out, I was hanging out in Livingston, Guatemala. And you know, and, 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 and at least we had Livingston, you know, there's a beach there, and right across from Livingston, Guatemala is Barranco Belize. You can actually see, you can swim if you was a good swimmer, you know? And people, anyway. So the old men, you know, they always have like a little canister in there, you know, that little thing, or they might have in a flask, right there. So let me take out my little flask right now. Wait, it's not even open, this is like, Take my little flask out. And like the old men, they have bitters in here. Really good for your cleaning system. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what's in here anyway. It's a little commercial thing. Ready? Here we go. <clears throat> Woof! Then you gotta do like that to you hide the flask back again. Woo! Woo. That's the way it goes. Anyway, so I'm getting ready. I'm getting. I'm, I'm saying this because I'm getting ready to leave. Oh, that's the cause. Um. I'm getting ready to leave, and so I got to, well, that's the newspaper, I'm getting ready to leave, and so, um, so I'm getting ready to leave. So there's certain things I have to do, because I'm traveling internationally, but see, I haven't, ah. anyway, so I do some preparations, and one of the things I do is, and I told you all before, that when you travel, and you're traveling with your passport, you know, you travel with your passport, of course, but sometimes you don't want to carry a passport, you know, around with you, whatever have you. So you really need to take a, a, a photo of that first page, you know? That first page, I'm, I'm repeating this out there. I have another thing that I said this now. First, you know, so that's that first page. Actually, what I should do is have on one side have the, like this, they on the other side have the uh, emergency details that you have on your, on your passport. Anyway, so always have a, 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 a photo, a color photo copy of passport someplace else, just in case something happens to you. You know, blah, 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 blah. But what else you have, so you should travel with. I should put this in my thing, too. Because I always travel with my, uh, it's not in there. I have a, I have a, I have a little, a bag here. I should show it to you. I have a bag here. that stays right here in my house. It's, it's an emergency bag to get out. Like it has my, you know, like a, has this, actually it's an army bag. Uh, you know, it has this thing that I travel with, which has a, a lot of cards, my social security card, a bunch of other things. Hey, MTA! I wonder if they'll give me a senior citizen. I gotta go register, see, MTA. Uh, New York. 
bunch of other stuff who uh, would have had it. But the reason why I'm bringing this out is because I just went and got some photos taken. They're called passport photos. And it used to be, I told you before, it used to be when you took your photos, you could smile because actually they told me when I first took it, when I first, my first passport I got in 1985, I think. But uh, when they said smile, you know, they, you, you could smile. In fact, the guy told me, the photographer, you should smile because I'm like, yeah, so that's your identifying mark. So he told me, you know, smile. So I smiled that first passport, those pictures were really nice. Oh, man, I look good when I smile. I always like black people to smile because that, you know, harmless or whatever, something like that. So, okay, so when and I got, see, I've got some passport photos, right? I got, this is a four, but I got the individual ones here too, just in case I need them. So always travel with some passport photos with you, just in case. You never can tell when you need something. So I don't, boy, I look like a real criminal here. Oof. I think I purposely, I said, oh, if they want criminal. Oh, man. Gee, I look bad. Look. Would you want them? Anyway. So now this goes into my little thing here. This has my... Other passport photos I need to get rid of now because they're, they're, no, they're no longer good. See? Oh, here. Hey, look at this picture. This is my BAI shirt. Here, see? I used to look good. I used to have locks. This is my short locks. This is when I first started to travel. Yeah, so my locks were really short. Anyway, I'm taking all this time to show you all this stuff to say one simple thing. Okay, I'm going to put my passport in here, I think. Oh, wait, see? Here's my old, old ID photos. Wait a second. What's this? I look less of, oh look, I smile a little bit. I look less of a criminal there. Okay. Anyway. Now, I won't put this, I put this yet? Yeah. Now, I'm still going to carry, see, usually I carry this in here like this. Should I? I'll put it in there. Because I'm going to leave soon. So, I need this. No, wait, before I do that. Yeah, no, no, no. I'll leave it there. What the heck? And it goes back. Of course, actually, I'm carrying a rolling thing, but nothing in it. And this, I don't even know if I'm carrying it like that. Oh, I say all that. And how, is, how it, uh, how it um, applies to ADOS is simple. Preparation is everything. How you prepare is how it's going to be. And like I said, between now and we come to the end of June, to be, by the end of this month, you know, we should get all the naysayers, all the people attacking uh, ADOS, we just need to lay them to rest. This is the, the monthly rest. Because come January, let's say July 3rd, not July, it's my birthday, July 4th, you know, the, 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 the birthday of the nation, you know what I mean? That's when we, at that particular point, no more nonsense, no more answering idiotic things, you know, just keep on going. Let me give you a story. I told you the story, I told people the story before. I'm saying, yeah. That's why. Because, you know, you're, you're walking along, here's ADOS, walking along, mind their own business, you know, trying to find other ADOS people because, you know, blah, 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 not only, well, proximity is everything. You want to be surrounded by people who, who you can vibe off of, blah, 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 as you get your energy, then you go out and tell other people what the ADOS mission is and all that stuff. Anyway. But here's the weird, uh, um, well, let me tell you a story. Uh, I've told this before, too, someplace. Uh, there's a uh, uh, Daniel Chappie James, uh, Air Force General. Uh, he was the last person that I I know that had the foot that that had his finger on a on a nuclear button. In other words, they used to have rotating generals or whatever have you. And there could be one person that just pushed the button. They changed all that stuff with the nuclear football and all that stuff. Not nuclear, but the football and all that stuff. Anyway, uh, Chappie James. When I was in the Air Force, I uh, went to, uh, was it Colorado Springs? Yeah, Colorado Springs. Um, Colorado, I guess. Uh, where the Air, Air Force Academy is, there was some sort of pro program there, and I ended up being there. This was like 72, 1972, I guess, somewhere in there, 72, 73, I don't know. And uh, I met Chappie James. Well, he grew, he, he, he asked a group of us, uh, like it was maybe like 20 of us, of black airmen, because we were all in the Air Force, to come and meet with him because he was at this, I don't know what he was doing at the college. He was doing something at the Air Force College. And so, so he, hey, we up. I think by then he was a, a, a colonel or something like that. I don't think he was a general yet. Anyway, the point is, uh, so we met. 
And it was interesting because one thing he said is kind of interesting. It was a standard thing. It seemed like he would tell a lot of people. But I think it applies to ADOS. And since he was ADOS, hey, let's take advice from an elder ADOS that's passed on, you know, military general and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Peace and blessings on, the, on his eternal soul. So we're talking about uh, General Chappie James. Uh, so he says to us, you know, uh, when I was young, you know, I came home one time because some, some boys had called me, some people had called me nigger. And I talked to my father. And my father said, look, you keep on doing what you need to do. I'm paraphrasing now. You do what you need to do because one of these days you're going to drive by in a big car and you're going to pass some same people and they're going to be calling you names, calling you nigger, whatever have you. And all you have to do is roll up your window, keep on going. You don't listen to them. What I'm saying is that all the naysayers that keep on coming at ADOS, we're having, now we had our fun, we, we, we can have a whole contingent of people that keep on you know, dealing with the trolls, whatever happens. I don't know what y'all do on Instagram and, and Twitter and, and Facebook because I don't deal with that, I just deal with YouTube. But I would say this. If you ignore them, come, let, let's make a thing. From, from, you have a choice. If from July, beginning of July, until the beginning of October when the, when the conference is, um, Yes, I'm coming because I'll be there. Um, at the inaugural conference, from then to then, you, the concentration. Pull that window up. Don't listen to any of the naysayers. People calling you names, telling you this, you're yours, it's just divisive, and that, 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 you ain't, that, 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 no claim, that, 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 all that. Don't listen to them, because you got. You, we have a mission from the beginning of July until the beginning of October, you individually, or ADS, does come into the conference, even if you're not coming to the conference, because you can send stuff, I guess you can send stuff to the conference. Um, you should have your plan. You should concentrate on your plan. Don't concentrate on nothing else. They say blah, 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 blah. You can still do your recruitment to people who want to do it. They don't want to do it. You know, do that, do that Jesus thing and, and, and kick your dust off your sandals and keep on moving. Get the sandals, because it's coming to summertime in the Northern Hemisphere. Anyway, so that's my message. My message is, we got to be free. I'm not gonna use terms like on point, on code, rest that stuff. I said we got to be dedicated. You got to be dedicated to this liberation movement right now, and you have a chance from uh, from July to uh, to October to be precise of what you think you're going to get out of it. Then from October, I suppose we'll get our marching orders, orders, and then we'll know what to do in our next phase. Okay, so that's it. That's all I have to say. Me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the ADOS that would be the American descendants of chattel slavery. <laughs>